What's up, Genesis Church? I hope you are doing well. I hope you're able to watch and participate with us yesterday as we hit Smyrna, the second of seven churches. And, you know, guys, as I was studying for this message, what was so interesting to me about Smyrna was that it was so interwoven into, into Rome. And that they were experiencing persecution from both sides of the coin. They were experiencing persecution from Jews, but they were also experiencing persecution because Rome had literally become Smyrna's God. They had a temple dedicated to worshiping Rome. Caesar was supposed to be their God. So as they're going through these trials, they're challenged and encouraged by God to remain faithful, to not compromise. You know, they had that question in front of them. We're going to be going to prison. Some of us are going to die. Do we compromise? Do we bend? Do we give in? Or do we remain faithful? And the example that we get in scripture, because we see this in Revelation 5, that John heard the name Lion of the tribe of Judah, but what he sees is a lamb that appears to be slain, right? Isn't that crazy? That he hears one thing and sees another because Jesus is giving us this example that we are supposed to overcome through submission. So this reminds me of James 1, James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. Let's look at this together. It says, count it all joys, joy, my brothers, when you face trials of various kinds, not if, It's when you meet various trials, count it joy. It's not if, it's going to happen. Some might say it's already happening, it's currently happening. But this is really a personal level of trial. This is a personal persecution. When those things come, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. That when you face these trials, let it do something positive in you. Let it strengthen you. Let God use that to mold you and shape you. He is the potter. We are the clay, right? So, and let steadfastness have its full effect, have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing lacking in nothing, that if you don't experience these trials, if you don't let them produce this steadfastness, you're going to be lacking something. You're not going to have a complete faith. So guys, even though we experience suffering, even though we experience trials and persecution, these things come, we're asked that question. We're given that choice. Do I compromise or do I remain faithful in the midst of these struggles that I'm experiencing, in the midst of the trials that I'm experiencing? And guys, the answer is we have to remain faithful to El Shaddai, the Almighty God, the one who is in control, the first and the last. Why? Because he set the example for us. He set the example. He overcame sin and death by sacrificing himself. So we're called to join him in death so we can join him in new life. We had to have to submit and sacrifice to overcome overcome. We have to be patient within our pain so that we can grow in our faith. So even in these difficult times, be encouraged. Know that God wants to use this to bring about something greater in you. Okay. We miss you guys. We love you guys. We hope to see you soon. But remember, we need to be patient in this pain so we can be used for greater things. All right. I love you guys. We will see you soon.